Officer Krovolov. Officer Krovolov. What do you want? They want us to transmit Order 27. They want us to transmit Order 27? Hmm. Which one's that? Uh, uh, I think it's... Um... You don't know, Vlad, do you? Hey? Come on, look alive. No point being here unless you're learning on the job. Let's just hope we don't get blamed for blowing another Korean passenger jet out the sky, eh? That was order 82, sir. 82? Yes, Vlad, well done. 27, 27, 27. Ah! Permission to transmit, sir? Yes, 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 yes. Do you not think perhaps we should check this, sir? Vlad? We are the Soviet Military Communications Office. Do you not remember Article 3.2? It states that our sole purpose and very existence relies on us not asking questions. Yes, I, I understand that, sir, but uh, if this is a mistake, this could threaten our very existence? Exactly. That is why these orders and those weapons exist. Come on, cadet. Our people are relying on us. Officer Krovlov speaking. Yes, yes, Dmitri. This is Moscow. Oh, hi, Moscow. How are you? We're very well. How are you, Dmitri? And how's everything at the SMCO? Very well. Run like a well old Avtovaz down here. And your intern? Has he settled in? Yeah, Vlad's here. He'll be running the place in no time. Now, Dmitri. Calling regarding that order we just sent. Oh, yes, order number uh, 27. 27, that's one. Well, have you transmitted it? You bet your bollocks we have. <laughs> Dimitri, can you see if the missiles have launched yet? Can we see if the missiles have launched? No. No, they haven't. They haven't? Give me a kick up the arse, shall we? No, Dimitri, I want you to recall those at once. Is this a test? No, this is not a test, Dimitri. In Article 5.12, Moscow, you need to give me sufficient reason as to why the motherland is no longer existentially threatened. Hmm. Well, you see, Dmitri, we've got this new holy warning radar system. It's designed to identify any nuclear threat from NATO. And the system picked up five US ICBMs, which I should be what? Intercontinental ballistic missile, Dmitri. Fortunately, it's become clear that those launches were, in fact, cloud cover. Cloud cover? Cloud cover? Yes, cloud cover. We need to know that we can rely on you, Dimitri. Consider the recall. Right away? Right away. Goodbye, Moscow. Goodbye, Dimitri. Right, Vlad. Do you know how to cancel a transmission? Uh, uh no, sir. I really think oh, you... Oh, what better opportunity to learn, hey? Come on, look sharp. Log into the system. Search for current orders. Click send alternative orders. On the screen flash display, type R, E, C, and recall. Recall, yes, that. Yes, very good, that. Recall order 27. And hit enter. Is that it, sir? That's it, Vlad. Officer Krovolov? Vlad? Is the light meant to be green? No. What does a green light mean? Can't call Moscow. Oh, Vlad. 
Oh, don't worry, they'll understand. You're new. Officer Crawford speaking. Dimitri, please tell me you recalled order 27. Of course, Moscow. Are you sure about that? I'm sure, I'm sure. When I whistle, the dog follows. Don't worry about that. Our system has identified five launches off the coast of Siberia. Oh, really? Yes, really. This would be your third breach in a month, Dimitri. Cloud cover. Cloud cover. Definitely cloud cover, Moscow. I've got to go. Another report's coming in. Storm in Lensk. Hold on, Dimitri. Goodbye, Moscow. You have to fix this, cadet. You have to fix this and quick. Uh, well, uh, maybe I should call Washington. Washington? America? And tell them. And that... tell them what? There's five ICBMs on the way to them. What are you trying to do? Start a nuclear war? Well, they might be able to stop nah. them. Nah. Can't let you do that, cadet. Actually, sir. Article 5.6, in the case of mutual nuclear destruction, the SMCO must make communications with the opposition in an attempt to stop that. I'm going to explain what's happened and that there's been a mistake. Washington? Who the hell is this? Uh, this is the SMCO. SMC what now? Uh, the Soviet Military Communications Office. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Don't ask me know who you are. What do you want? Uh, well, I I'm afraid we find ourselves in a spot of bother. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that you were aware that we have fired five intercontinental ballistic missiles heading straight towards Washington. We were not aware of that. No? Your systems didn't pick that up? Turns out we ain't actually got a system. Thought the whole point of the deterrent was that they'd never be used. Ah, right, well, I, I'm sorry to tell you that they have been used. So you said. And why have they been used, SMCO? Well, it was a misunderstanding. You see, our radar systems detected five US warheads heading for Moscow, and so we retaliated. But it turned out just to be, uh... Cloud cover. Cloud cover. Cloud cover? Yes. Sorry. That's quite a serious misunderstanding you made there, SMCO. Can you stop them? Uh, no, I'm afraid they are airborne. Can you redirect them? Oh, could we redirect them? No. Uh, no. So you can't stop them. You can't redirect them. What in God's name can you do? Well, that's why we were calling you. We hoped that you might be able to stop them. How long have we got? Uh, now a little under five minutes. I'm gonna put you on hold for a second. Uh, I'm not sure we have time for that, Washington. Back on the line in just a minute. I gotta make another call. Another call? Another call? Uh, he says he has to make another call. Mm. Yanks! I told you. I told you you shouldn't have called him. Look, we are going to save millions of innocent lives. Oh, they're loving this. They'll be on the phone now to NATO. Oh, NATO, we're scared. Russia's fire on us. And they're big and they're scary and they're kind of fucking sexy. They're gonna bend us over and shove a nuke up our ass. If we'd have hit them, they'd have fired back no matter what. Now that we've told them, they can shoot them out of the sky and then they won't fire back on us. You're learning, <laughs> hey? Not just a pretty face, are you, Vlad? Hello, SMCO. Yes, speaking. So that was NATO I just had on the other line. Right. I reckon their satellite system can shoot your missiles out of the sky. Oh. That is brilliant news. Ain't it just? And you won't fire back on us, will you, Washington? Mm. You won't fire back on us, will you, Washington? I'm afraid. Given that you let us know that we have, in fact, fired five intercontinental ballistic missiles at Moscow. What? What's he said? Now, I appreciate this might be a Give little distress. Hello? If I had Washington. my way, 
Now shut up! Listen to me, right? You see what you're gonna do? You're gonna recall those news, or you're gonna shoot them at the fucking sky, whatever it is you do. You know, because if you don't, we will unleash the arse of Satan on you, do you hear me? We will come down on you, we will ruin you! We're going to reduce you to fat you melting! Struck special deal with NATO that once they shut down your missiles, they will sign a special treaty with Moscow that prevents this ever happening again before shooting down our missiles. You got that? Yes, sir. Never been sure. Now, SMCO, it's been real nice speaking with y'all. I think we could be on the dawn of a new era of mutually assured peace. Goodbye now. Is everything all right? They're going to shoot him down. Everything's going to be fine. Do you think that means... Yeah. Couldn't be cloud cover. They said they'd launch him. They launched him. So, so what do we do? We wait. <clears throat> you want to ignore a direct order, sir? We are going to ignore a direct order. Yes, Cadet. If there's one thing we both learnt today, it's that sometimes orders are best ignored. They are, sir? Yes, they are. <laughs> My God, it's working. I think you've just averted a nuclear war, sir. <laughs> I'm going to get a medal for this. Where do you think I could get one, sir? <laughs> I'm sure they'll find you something. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you've got to hold their bloody hand through everything! Washington! It's Krovolov from the SMCO. The what? The Soviet mini- Just listen, Washington, all right? We told you about those nukes so you could blow them out the sky with your bloody machine. And we can see you left one up there. If you think for one minute we're going to let you get- Oh, yeah. Yeah, we missed it. Missed it? They missed it? You remember that satellite that shoots them out the sky? Turns out it was just a deterrent. NATO never thought they'd actually have to use it. We only had five shots, you see, and... Well, we missed one. Five shots? And to that I say, go place it. What about Moscow? The in the haste. Washington. And remember one piece there we know you put your nukes up there as well. How are you going to get them down? Washington. Was this your plan all along? And on that note, see you on the other side. Washington. Hello. Washington. Don't worry, Vlad. Well, you'll learn from this. Order one. Which was that? Yes, it was 82. Oh, you <laughs> And how's everything at the SMCO? Very well, very well. Run like a well-oiled <laughs> We can't call Moscow. <laughs> of course, Moscow. The show. Of course I'm caught. <laughs> well, they don't understand. Well, you're new. <laughs> we see you left one up there. You shot down four, you left one up there. Alright? 
Sorry, the dogs. Yeah, yeah, the dogs.